were talking a little bit, uh, you know, Lance has been going into the deep archives of um, Matt Walsh. I just scrolled back through some old Crowder clips and I thought we could maybe start a little segment called Old Crowder Clips. Oh, we should do that. Uh, I don't know if you've got this. Uh, you oh, uh, if you could search it, maybe um, just search Crowder uh, Pee Wee, uh, Crowder Obama oh, Pee Wee. Yeah, yes, I got it. I got it. Um, I'll also say the very first Steven Crowder clip is uh, I'm on Team Israel, which is also very interesting. I will be clipping that later. I have a new thread uh, going on Twitter that's just going to be a repository for um, old clips uh, of uh, Steven Crowder. But uh, this is a little bit, you know, we have the theatrical Crowder. This is from what date? 13 years ago. Um, so this is right before... No, this isn't. This is yeah. This is in the Obama's Beginning presidency. Obama. This is his acting reel, or and so the context here is um, uh, Obama like had some sort of diplomatic uh, photo op with the Saudis and shook their hand, and this was pre-Trump. Mm. Um, you know the whole glowing orb thing, um, and uh, and uh, sorry, are you, are, is that going to? play yeah, oh yeah, told, yeah. um and uh and so this is where they're saying look look at obama's week he's bowing to um you know r the saudis and stuff mm. like that so th that's the context for this. yeah does anybody else out there get the feeling that this administration thinks we're idiots listen obama this isn't pbs so stop talking to us like we're four years old hi boys and girls and welcome to the white house <laughs> <laughs> For example, everyone knows that Obama bowed to the Saudi king. It was nothing personal, it's just that Obama has a compulsion to be loved that rivals that of a desperate, chubby middle school girl. And Obama's people actually tried to tell us Hold that on. he was just bending over. I know someone else who has a desperate desire to be loved by his father, by people in general. I'm just... Yeah. I don't know. All right. <sighs> over so we could get a firm, double-handed shake. So there you go, boys and girls. Obama was really only bending down so he could grab the king's hand with both his hands. And the king said, Obama, man, it's a firm handshake you have. And Obama said, well, that's because I play basketball. But don't ask me about bowling. <laughs> no idea. The only problem is the tape shows Obama's left hand glued to his side. And just as surely, Obama's press folks have tried to laud praise on him as though he had anything to do with the pirate hostage rescue. Pirates? Mmm, I'm Nike! <laughs> we all know that the real people to thank are the members of the United States military. The and same people hearts. Obama's been undercutting at nearly every turn. When things go wrong, however, the Obama rhetoric becomes painfully predictable. Yeah, the economy is pretty much getting creamed, but that's because it was all George Bush's fault! <laughs> Don't worry about that! Let's just dance! <laughs> Do you think this administration is pandering to the lowest common denominator? Mm. And are the American people really as dumb as they take us for? I mean, it's pretty typical of the left to spin things to sound more in their favor. It's not terrorism, it's now man-made disaster. And now it's women's health, it's no longer abortion. You just said the word of the day! Abortion! There you go. I just, I, I can't. Oh, he's got a gun. Well, that was a, a yeah. Nut. That was awesome. He kind of was just experimenting with makeup at that point. You know, when you're like a 13 year old girl, or at least I know, and you try on your mom's eyeshadow or a little bit of blush, maybe a little earlier than that. He hadn't discovered drag yet. I don't he think. hadn't gotten his wigs yet, right? That's kind of when you start to feel yourself a little bit more. But the gun remains. Yeah, I'll also say the um, the first video he ever uploaded, which I'll be uh, I'll be taking some from uh, and post on that thread, is entitled "Go Team Israel!" exclamation point featuring Obama's moves, and it's simultaneously a very pro-Israel, uh, a racist, I will say, a pro-Israel a screed, and also the latter part of it is a kind of a meditation on Obama's physique. Mm. So. <laughs> Yeah. Why are they trying to make him look so good? So what the <laughs> hell does uh, Pee Wee Herman have to do with this? I wasn't even sure what character he was trying so to play. So the whole conceit was, why is mm, Obama... Explain this to me. Why is Obama speaking to us like uh, we're... F oh, we're children. It's mm -hmm. PBS. We're sp speaking to us like it's PBS and we're children. And so... Mm. So he's ah. a child. Oh. <laughs> I used to, yeah. Yeah. I used to have a Pee Wee Herman myself. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, it, I feel like it is kind of like Sling Blade or something like that. Everyone can kind of get in on it. Pee Wee's maybe Palin. the easiest, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pee Wee, uh, he started off uh, warming himself up there. Whew. Also, you, I also do like how you can tell when early YouTube uh, personalities were trying to imitate Philip DeFranco. <laughs> That's like what that was a little bit where you're, you're repeating the news and you, it's like quick cuts, making it snappy as possible. He has the hair. He kind of looks like him there a little bit. Is the Frank the jellyfish? No, he was he's oh, a yeah, big, yeah, big yeah, YouTuber, yeah. but old school. Yeah. Um, I have no idea who this guy even is. Yeah. Yeah. He. Uh, basically right. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> man, society is degrading. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just I'm so glad I got to see that. Um, yeah, more, look out for more, folks. 